Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hey, my name is Kat, thank you so much for joining. I'm really excited to share a brand new game with all of you called Unpacking, and it is, as you may have guessed, about unpacking. <laughs> it's a really relaxing, almost meditative game where it's part puzzle, block fitting kind of elements mixed with home decorating. And I first actually came across this on a Simmers channel a few months ago and I'm someone who loves life sims but also love home decoration elements in any game that I play. So if this game doesn't sound like the most perfect fit for me, I don't know what will. <laughs> And I think that many of you will enjoy this as well. It's a very cozy zen experience and what I find interesting about it as well is that through the items that you unpack or the items that gets left behind of the homes, you get to learn about the characters' stories and you go from unpacking like a little one bedroom to an entire home. By the way, the music in this is so relaxing as well, so I don't know how many times I've already said relaxing just in this intro. I think, you know, the best way is just to show you. Let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. All right, well, immediately, I mean, look how cute this is, and I love the music as well. I read that the music was composed by, like, an award-winning composer, which is very impressive. So. <laughs> um, so it just throws this right in here. I'm so excited to... This book belongs to... Oh, is this just the saved game? Well, it belongs to Cat. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I wish I picked the blue album because that's my favorite color. 1997. Okay. Getting right to it. Soccer ball. Mm, we can put it here for now. I think that's a nice, you know, like easy access. And it's showing us to right click to rotate. Oh, nice trophy. I think these should go I think these should go on a shelf here. A nice little display we'll make. Ruler, these are things that we need for the desk, of course. Little journal. Put that there for now. Ooh, crayons. Another notebook. Oh, there we go. Oh look how cute. This is probably her drawing. Mmm, I would, I think I really want to put it there so that she can look at it. <laughs> Aww. We'll put that there for now. I think maybe these albums. Ooh, that's like a little Simon Says game. Um, what is this here? I can't tell what it is. Is that like... I'm so sorry guys, I don't know what that is exactly. Oh, a Rubik's Cube. I think I'll put her gaming stuff here, and then probably something like this, you know? We'll figure it out. We'll put the garbage there. Mm. We can stack there. Oop, done with the first box. That is satisfying. Scissors. Okay, the desk is looking a little cluttered, but we will we will fix that up. Oh, we can put stuff on the bed too. I think we'll put dragon. <laughs> oh, I love this poster. Um we'll put it like right here. Here or up there. Another book. Another book. And is that a Game Boy? We will get along. <laughs> Whoever, whoever's room this is. And here is another book. I want all the books together and sort of arranged by size. That's just my preference, guys. <laughs> Can I stand this up? No. Okay. Maybe we'll scoot some things down. I want this Game Boy to be accessible because... <gasps> a Polaroid? Beautiful. Achievement unlocked makes a memory. Flashlight? There's so much stuff. That there. 
So much stuff. And on to our last box. Stack that there. A little froggy. I might want all the stuffies on the bed. I don't know though. Let's see. Ooh, a lot of figures. This reminds me of like a My Little Pony. And this kind of reminds me of a Pokemon. A little Trolls doll. Superhero, of course. Tamagotchi. Ooh. Is this another stuffy? And that's the little piggy from the from the intro. Oh, so cute. Ooh. A boom box too. Some cassette tapes. I think the book bag will have to go, I think, here. And more books, and more books. We, I promise, we'll fix it. Still, not done yet. <laughs> Alright, the desk is looking quite cluttered, so I do... I do want to move things around here. Oh, you could open the drawer. Should have checked that first. <laughs> so these are all going in the drawer, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Can I put the crayons in there? Too? Pretty much all that fits in there is. Oh, well, that's a game changer. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think to open the cupboards right away, but that that really helps. Um, I'm going to put these in there because they are making our shelves look a little cluttered. A little cluttered, but not in a good way, you know? This is glowing red, so I don't know what that means. Oh, there is a way to zoom it. Ah! my bad you guys I was totally not looking at the corner why is it glowing red hold on I kind of want these guys to go on the shelf let me just rearrange something it should be the side it will doesn't have to be better that way. Ah, okay. We needed to hide it. <laughs> I might put the crayons... I might put the crayons here. It's because it's a really big box, isn't it? Or maybe even under under here. And I want these little knickknacks displayed on the shelf. So I think I'm going to rearrange these books. I think this smaller one is like a photo album, something like that. And then I do want our games to be together as well. This little bus I feel like is some sort of memorabilia from a trip maybe. We can put her collection of little toys on the shelf here. This rhino looking guy looks like um is it riperior riperior pokemon <laughs> i i don't know what this is i honestly cannot tell zoom at it is that some sort of toy i don't know maybe we'll put it there <laughs> I can't tell what it is for the life of me. So. We'll put the flashlight in here. And actually, I kind of want to put the put this under here too so it's not super cluttered. Mm. And then we still have to sort out our little toys here. How cute. I do kind of want them to 
be on the bed. <laughs> so cute. Just these ponies. Maybe I'll put the ponies here. You know? <gasps> that sounds like a... That sounds like a good sign. I am going to move some down, though. Because this giant thing is blocking them. Alright. Uh, what do we think? I'm quite happy about this, actually. Can I center this? I guess that'll do. And I'm actually going to move the book bag here. So I imagine the door is... Oh, right here. Right. I'm happy about that. Let's move on. <laughs> Perfect. Finally, my own room. Fast forward to 2004. Is this a different person now? Well, we'll start with this chunky. Computer screen. Oh my goodness. Do you remember owning these things? This must be the same person, isn't it? I don't actually know. Mouse, okay. We need that there. That's a mouse pad. This has to be the same person. Okay, now we know of the drawers. I don't know what this is, actually. Books, stand up please, thank you. Okay, I think we're getting a little bit more efficient because we're getting the hang of where we can place things, where we can't place things, but I think I like just sort of laying everything out first and then figuring out where to put them. I... Mm. The behemoth of a tower. <laughs> I don't know what it is about sorting things um, and just decorating and reorganizing and cleaning. It's just so relaxing for me and I think many of you will actually like this game as well. I can spend hours doing this. I don't know about you. Oh, it's a little piggy. It is the same person then, huh? Was it 9097 earlier? I believe it is. So then that would be another um, seven years later. Oop. Closet packing. I love it. That's one shoe. <laughs> there has to be another, right? Yep. There it is. Boots. Brazier. So seven years later, I wonder if this is like a dorm, do you think? This might be. Racer. A little file thing. Well, not so little, actually. That's a big one. Um, undies. Try to organize that. A toaster. Oh, actually, play it this way instead. I never stayed at a dorm personally, so. Unfortunately, I can't tell you if this is one for sure. Pull everything out. Ooh. Dance. We've got a monkey. I wonder if these are her illustrations, you know. Here, put these underneath. We'll kind of do it by color, too. Just one boot. It has to be in the other boxes, right? <laughs> There's a bag. There's a... Ooh, like an MP3 player. Like an iPod. Ooh. I haven't seen one of those in ages. And our cute little piggy bank made it with us. Our ball. Looks like it's seen, you know, better days at this point. 
and on to our last box. Another shirt. It's got lots of shirts. This one looks like a little bit of a fancier blouse, perhaps, for our girl. So I'm going to hang these ones. What is this? What is this? What is this? Are these PJs or something? Possibly. Seems like PJs. Oh, yep. Got a set. Put that down first because I do want to have everything sorted. Um, all right. Okay. That was our last box. The last item in the last box. So I think. Are we missing a boot? What's going on here? <gasps> Oh my goodness, I can <laughs> I should look at the icons more. I'm sorry about that, you guys. So the toaster we can put here. There's more boxes here as well. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. More stuff to unpack. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this is very exciting. I'm really into this. Let's finish the bedroom first before I get ahead of myself because I'm getting too excited as usual. And this can go in the washroom. And we've got a box here as well. That's so fun. Okay. Let's leave that for now and then go back to the bedroom. We'll finish this up first. I definitely remember <laughs> when our family had one of these and it was such a pain every time we moved or even just wanted to put it in a different room. I reckon that she might want her music player beside her and then the alarm clock as well. Maybe her Game Boy too. Maybe she wants to play a game so that she can fall asleep, you know? <laughs> Let's see. I kind of like this arrangement already, but we'll just make it a little bit neater. I like the kind of gallery style we've got going on. I do want to put the piggy and the kitty, so they're the only ones that made it to her dorm. It's a little bus, probably important to her, hey? She didn't end up getting rid of it, so it's probably of sentimental value, so. There we go, a little spot for our toilet paper or TP, and a little thing of Paris. So her travel knickknacks, seems. Where can I place this? It takes up so much space. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of <laughs> color coordination. Although all her stuff, all really different colors anyway, so I don't know that I can sort it by color. How are you enjoying this game so far? I am having a blast. <laughs> I feel like the Rubik's Cube should be lower. Maybe she's reaching for it more often. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with the closet. Let's close that up for now before uh, I change my mind again. Let's do something about this desk here because a little bit messy, a little bit messy, not gonna lie that eraser back there and then these markers i kind of like the pencil crayons i think that she will probably want access to it because she seems like an artist can i put something on top of the tower no piggy can stay on the bed and let's move on to the washroom now <laughs> toothbrush toothpaste do we have a holder Ooh, towel perfect the uh, soap perfect Oh, great a little mug. We can store stuff here, right? Yes. Perfect. Oh, forget that we can open things now that we know. Airbrush. Little shower thing. This will go here. Ooh, first aid thing. Night. Uh, this needs to go in your bedroom. There we go. So the missing shoes and stuff are probably here. Little feminine products. Um, here. More toilet paper. More toilet paper. The 
this was the beginning of 2020. She would be rich. <laughs> I'll put this here for now. I wonder if this is like body wash or so. I don't know. I'm overthinking this. I <laughs> Can we stack these? I don't mind it this way. I don't love this, but let's see what's in the kitchen, shall we? We got some cups, mugs. Oh, that's where our utensils go, and that's just an empty, empty um, drawer there. So let's take everything out first. Sugar. Got a cookie jar. Some plates. I like the choice of color. Stack bowls, perfect. Next box. We are getting good at this. I don't know about you. <laughs> I think that we are. Fork. Knives. What are these? What are these? Teaspoons? Oh no, those are the spoons. Another uh, rack. Dish soap. That can go there. Some sort of cleaner, I assume. Oh, that's like a bug... A pesticide thing, I assume. Um, because I don't know what this is, I can't tell what it is, so we'll just throw that in under there. Okay, cleaning stuff up here. Pots down here. Cutting board, door. So I'm just gonna assume that these are cleaning products, but I could be... could be completely wrong, you know? Oh, sponge, right? Sponges? Spon spongies? A uh, spatula. And onto our final box. Ooh, a keyboard. Yes, we do need this. Perfect. Look at this PC setup. How, I mean, my desk setup could. <laughs> More plates. Perfect. More bowls. Glasses. Oops. Do we have like a knife holder block, knife block, can opener, got a sponge that can stay out here. Ooh, ooh, yes, this is important. For coffee, there's our missing boot. Perfect. Our soccer ball, I guess, can go back up there. I'm fine with that. What do you guys think? This is... I can't tell you what that is. I have no idea. Glasses, more blue plates. Some salt. That's a giant thing of salt. That seems like coffee. Paper towel, yes, essential. More spoons. Or, oh, these are teaspoons. So we'll do that. All right, okay. Mm, um, how does this feel? Let's see. Anything missing? Oh, this one. This one to go here too? Should we just throw it in here? Oh! Alright. It wants to go it wants to go here, but I guess I'll scooch these over and there. I don't know. I feel like we've been spending too much time on this <laughs> level. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm not even joking. When I say that I love anything home decorating and also puzzles. I'm so obsessed. Time passes by so quickly and I don't notice it. So, I mean, it's looking cute. You know, everything looks as organized as it could be. I hate, I don't love, I don't love this area, but I think that the bedroom is the best. I love the PC setup. You know, this is great. It's beautiful. Let's move on. <laughs> Ooh. Does that mean they graduated? 
I got a little classes start Monday, uni, here I come. Yes, yes, that's right. If, oh, that's my bad. I didn't mean to click on it. But, well, we got a little bit of a better picture. <laughs> anyway, so that was May 1997 and January 2004. All right, 2007, so another three years have passed, and we've got a flat, it seems, or like a little house. Um, it's uh, a little bit cluttered, my girl. What are, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, books, and uh, we've got video games, we've got like a little PlayStation, I'm into it. We already have some figures displayed here, so I think that I will just put that put that there as well. What is this? I think that this would be a nice like coffee table book, yeah. And this will go in the bedroom. <gasps> wow. This is exciting. Okay. One box done. And a... that's cute. What is this called? Rib rib uh, ribbon twirling? <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> Looks like we've got a... some sort of pet bug. I don't know how I feel about that, but... I guess our girl is into it, so... <laughs> Who am I to judge? Are they different? You know, some of these could be games, and I could be... Just completely wrong, you know. They might actually be video games. Like these look like the same as as it was um, from our dorm. And I can't stand them up, so they have to stack this way. Do this for now, I think. And then we'll probably unbox some more stuff. Um, this is real messy. <laughs> this is real messy. <laughs> but we've got more space. I like that these now have doors on it. So, you know, we can hide any of the stuff that we don't want to see, potentially. Out of sight, out of mind, and all of that. Our cookie jar made it with us. So that's fun. Sugar. Now we've got a little, you know, pantry thing. Maybe these weren't cleaning stuff. Is this like oil and vinegar and all of that? What is this? What is this? What? What is this? It's not a cat. Sort of a cat. Uh, oh, is it a magnet? It is a magnet. It's a koala. <laughs> it's a koala, not a cat. How cute! Put that there, and more magnets. And more magnets. Very cute. Very, very, very cute. I like that. And then more stuff, more space, I mean, for plates and bowls. Ah, she did end up keeping the colored ones. I was gonna say her tastes are changing, but um, oh, this can go in here. Is there a towel rack? Hopefully, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say that her tastes seem to be changing because uh, she only has like white plates now, but she did end up bringing the blue plates as well, which is nice. A spatula bought for earlier. Cutting board. Ooh. Ooh. Yay! Spot for spatulas. <laughs> That's perfect. I am gonna stick to my guns and keep thinking that this is some sort of cleaner because that's what I did at the last house and if it wasn't, that's awkward. <laughs> We've got a dedicated drawer now too for rags. Our girl is upgrading. We love to see it. Um, oh, this guy can go here too, no? Yes, thank you. 
So we'll just leave the swell bottle here just in case. She needs it, but otherwise I'm really happy with how this looks so far. We just have a little box for the washroom now. And it looks like there's other toothbrush here. So I wonder if she's sharing the space. Maybe got roommates or something? Airbrush. A little toiletry pouch. Did it go in there? No. Oh, it can go in up there though. Tell. Our perfume and stuff made it with us. Can I hang this here somewhere? Yeah. And this week. Got a little shower caddy even for <laughs> our shampoo and conditioner body wash. A little bit of an upgrade. Um, I noticed some pads under here, so we'll put that down there as well. And a Febreze. I think we'll put that back there. People do that, right? They like they put it on the toilet so that they can spray whenever they do a number two. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but we'll just organize all her stuff inside a drawer. I think. I think that's the best way to do it. Because it seems like she's sharing her space with two other people, potentially. Is this her hairbrush? Yes, it is. Yeah, it seems like she's sharing the space with two other people, so maybe, you know, it would be best to have her stuff tucked away and organized. So, I'm, I'm alright with that. Um... <laughs> this has the most boxes, so I'm really excited. And we even have a dining room area, which I can't wait. Okay. Notebooks. Um, little sticky things. Paper. Notes. Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> ah, now we have a lot more spots to put our markers and pencil crayons stack them. Ooh, our girl has definitely collected more materials over this period of time. Get a little photos. You know, I could be right about that, that, um, the red bus. Initially, I thought that it was something for traveling, like a, a souvenir of some sorts, because it does seem like she has a bunch of little souvenir knickknacks, like the Eiffel Tower in her last pants. Okay, so more grown-up styles. I can- I see, I see. Some more shirts, which we'll just- we'll stack for now and get these out of the way. A Game Boy Advance? <laughs> We've upgraded and some cartridges. I love this girl. I feel like we can be friends for sure. Oh, Peggy! And probably her diploma. Achievements. Get everything out of the box first, once again. And this thing made it with us, so I wonder what's in it. Has to be something important then, huh? We will probably hang these. Oh, we've got a matching um, shirt thing there, so it's probably a uniform. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah. There's an apron. A uh, yoga mat, I believe. Or PJs, I remember this. Looks like we picked up a new set. Uh, I remember this blouse as well. And our little garbage bin. We'll put there for now. Okay, we've got some dumbbells. Our girl is starting to work out. Mmm... Let's go ahead and organize this drawer first, because this is not it. It's not doing it. <laughs> you know, this thing is... takes up so much space, but... That might work. That could work. And then we'll just tuck the bin. Something like that? Yeah, I think so. And now... 
And now finally our dining room area and it looks like we've got some figures here too. That's like Gundams and uh, stuff from movies and, and comics and things I'm sure but I couldn't tell you what it is. This looks like books to a series. I think that these all go together. Possibly these go together. Here we go. We'll try to sort everything as it seems like um, it's meant to. Oh, did our oh there we go. I was going to ask where our little red bus went. Yes. Okay. We'll leave the travel traveling knickknacks up here. I think. Um, and now we have a leaning tower of Pisa. Oh. How cute. Oh, we added a new chicken friend. That one's new. And a little chick to go with it too. How cute. Let's see, this might go in the bedroom because it's like a modeling thing. <gasps> it dabs! Why didn't I do that earlier? This has to obviously be dabbing. <laughs> And probably stay stay there. And we'll add that there. So I might bring some back in here. Just because I feel like these are kind of nicer uh, books for display, if that makes sense. Might even put it here. Who knows? We'll put that there. And then this looks like a notebook, so I think it'll go here. What's going on? Something in here. Oh, this doesn't want to be inside. So I guess we'll take it out and display it here on our desk. And one more thing. The nail clipper doesn't want to be in here as well. On here then? Well, it's happy to do that. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. One last look at everything. Kitchen, honestly. I think the kitchen looks perfect. Living room. It's a little cluttered, but we can't do anything about that. You know, it's lived in. <laughs> it's a very well lived in home. And then we've got these books that we stacked on here. Um, yeah, I think we'll go there. I think these are books to a set also. I'm happy about that, but I just want to move these though. These traveling ones. I kind of want these back in her bedroom though. Yeah. Because I feel like these items are more dear to her because she's been bringing them everywhere, like wherever she moves. So I feel like it needs to stay in the room with her. There we go. And then our dabbing friend. And chill up here as well. <laughs> what do we think? I'm pretty happy about this. Yeah. Beautiful. And this was a big day. I'm ready for bed. Wonderful. Twenty ten. Another three years has gone by and it looks as though let's see, we've moved to our own flat. The other one probably was filled with, you know, roommates. Which is why it was a little bit messy but it looks like let's check out the rooms here uh we've moved to some sort of condominium apartment high rise because we can see the nice city outside through the window and we've got a view even in the washroom our girl is doing well our girl seems to be doing well this is a nice upgrade and generally speaking uh high rise apartments downtown are quite expensive 
So whether she bought this or she's renting it, it's, you know, I think that our girl is moving up in the world, maybe in the field of work or career that she has always dreamed of. And we can see, you know, things that she used to love or start to become interested in are becoming more apparent as well as the years progress because there are still video games, very nice. <laughs> and then her love for music, we've got some, it looks like concerts or festival posters or band posters um, and a nice sound system that is um, an Xbox 360. So she went from Nintendo to PlayStation, although the PlayStation might be her friends, um, but we've got now Xbox controllers here. We've got some records. Oh, I did not mean to move that. Um, it looks like we can move everything in this room. Maybe because she owns the entire space now and it's not her roommate's stuff because yeah we can actually move everything in this one so that's really nice but um i think that this is a nice place to end the preview <laughs> i can keep playing this on and on and on but i really want you guys to experience it yourself and also i don't want to spoil too much of the story too i really want to take my time you know in each level to really pay attention to the little things like the things that she would bring with her to her next move and the things that she leaves behind and i love seeing the interests that have stayed with her through the years and new ones that sort of develop like we've seen video games since her childhood we've seen music since her childhood um the fitness equipment was new from the last place but it looks like she's upgrading <laughs> it's nice too because you sort of start to root for her because you see her life progressing and improving you definitely start to feel invested and more intrigued about her life um and where she's headed next I will leave all the information for this game down below in the description and on a pinned comment as well if you want to check it out for yourself. Again, it's available on Steam, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox. I'm doing the preview right now on Steam, but I think I will be picking it up for my Switch as well because... <laughs> As you guys know, I love playing on handheld mode, especially with games like these that are very that relaxing, cozy, and oh my goodness, this is actually such a nice spot to end the video because uh, I just noticed this little zen garden right here, and that's actually so perfect to describe this game as well. It is so zen and relaxing and meditative and cozy, comforting, serene, all of the above. <laughs> This game is a perfect example of why I love indie games and why I love trying out new titles I may have not heard of before. They're just so wholesome and heartwarming and it gives you all like the nice warm and fuzzy feels that make you grow more attached to the game and the storylines or the characters. The other nice thing too about this game that I really enjoy is that there's no like time limit or um, any urgency that you have to finish certain missions. Like a game that I've played since childhood up to now that I really Really enjoy is the sims <laughs> but more than playing out the sims lives i actually really really enjoy doing the home building and home decoration aspect of the game which is why i feel like i can spend so much time in each of these levels in this game because this game gives me that except instead of me making up you know the sims background stories why their homes might look the way they do or what careers and hobbies they're into this game almost does that in reverse where you get to see all of the characters stuff and you know what stuff they bring with them or the new stuff they accumulate or whatever they left behind and then you start to get an understanding of who this character is and um, what she's into what she might do for work and so on <laughs> this is really one of those games that i think you should play and experience for yourself i'm really excited to hear your thoughts on this game so far and if you end up picking it up what you think of the story. Thank you to Witchbeam and Humble Games for sponsoring this video and allowing me to share such a beautiful game that I think, you know, we will all remember. <laughs> and of course, thank you so much for watching and checking out this game with me. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you next time.